Look at what you've become. Those cursed beasts. They've left you nothing more than just another wretched mongrel. Do you even remember what you did to your friends? Your kind, haunting the wilds unchecked. Until we found you. They've kept you alive because they still believe you can be saved. To which I must ask, is there even a shred of humanity left within you? Perhaps we will find out soon enough. Seriously, he has great sense of style. Ooh, also, we get Dark Flight. Activate your, activates your true form, increasing your current movement speed by an additional 40% for 10 seconds with a 2 minute cooldown. I'll tap for just one moment to make sure I unmuted my mic. Uh, that's going across, that's going up, that's up, that's there. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, yeah, all is well. And recording locally, 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 locally. I could, you may be thinking I could pause this and do it, but then I'll be paranoid the moment I unpause it. It's uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. Locally, 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 locally. Things ticking up. 30, 60, 90, 20, 50, 80, 10. Yeah, all is well. Anyway, game. Suffered so long. If only I could show them more of their burden. Say that again, again Greymane. I can't come here. The alliance has done us a great service. For this, I am eternally grateful. Mm. Good to know. I need you to pull through, Kolgarot. This do dosage is strong enough to kill a horse, but I know you. I know what you're made of. You will be fine. Trust me. I know what you're going through. Now drink up and close your eyes. Captive, captive organ, level seven elite. Ton of hit points. Oh, where can I have that much hit points? What now? So, yeah. So, Karen's potion did not kill you. Well, I suppose that means the human in inside of you is in control then. I guess it won't be shooting you after all. At least, not yet. Go speak to Karen Aranis and give him the good news. He's in charge of the house where we keep your kind. Just remember, Colgrot, I've got my eye on you. You try so, uh, you so much as try anything funny, you get a bullet between the eyes. So what's the deal about airline food? He doesn't even raise his gun. Just... It was that wasn't even funny, but it's kind of weird how I'm, you know, I, I was able to walk over to him. Is this set up so that only, like, somehow, if you've got a human, like, you're actually human capacity for thought, that you can actually get yourself out of it? Like, if you're just some trapped beast, you'll just be stuck. But if you c can actually put two and two together, you can actually free yourself. They don't kind of look that way. So it's just kind of weird how it's just like, oh, so you're human. After I walk, you know, I, after someone apparently freed me and I walk myself over. It's kind of a, a falling point, failing point. So who's here? Jack of all trades, Darrington. Uh, Mary Oxworth. Oh, and Gwen Armstead, mayor of Duskhaven. I wonder when she got that title. Uh, I'll grab a f skinning and um, herbalism. The 
captain of Gavin for me today. No, nope, not that. Any friend of is a friend of mine. Herbalism or mining? Herbalism. Trade me in herb herbalism. Yes. And I'm already tracking them. Good. Well met. Excuse me. It worked. By the light, it worked. Ah, yeah. Welcome back, Kolgaroth. You are fortunate. Karen's treatment doesn't always work this well on people who have had the curse as long as you. Do exercise caution. Don't expect anyone to invite you to their homes just yet. But at least they won't shoot you outright. That's fine, I'm a rogue. I'll just sneak on in. Ooh, I should also add Dark Void to my uh, stealth attack. At level, t at, sorry, at level 20, I get running wild. Drop to a forest to run as fast as a wild animal. Uh, it's basically a warg in n natural mount. You just run like a fast, like a lunatic. Uh, flare gives you d uh, 15 in skinning and allows you to skin faster. Before, they were going to do it so you didn't need a skinning knife. But, um, they changed it to that. And they change it so you don't even need the skinning knife to begin with. Viciousness increases crit chance by 1%. And that's what rogues are proficient with. Fist weapons, axes, maces, and swords are one-handed. And they only know common. Also, aberration. Reduces shadow and nature damage taken by 1%. Drain eyes have only have a 1% shadow reduction. So, yeah. Ah, yes. The effects of the curse cannot ever be fully cured as far as we know. With treatment, however, your mind will remain yours, and not that of a wild animal. We are fortunate that the treatment worked on you. Normally, I can only treat recent infections. We will need to continue your medi uh, medication if we were to have you reverse the curse. I will need m mandrake essence to brew, any, uh, brew another batch of my serum for you. You should find a crate stashed beneath a shed southwest of town. Oh, and there is Celestina to harvest. Oh, so where's the... And there's the Warlock Trainer, you Ain't you a Even the most superficial glimpse into the secrets I would hold... Uh, and secrets I hold will drive you mad, Rogue. Where's the priest? I want to rub it in their face that no, the harm did come to me today. What can I do for you? Yeah, she's what broken fucking record. Uh, time worn staff. I can't use it, so sell. Oh, let's hold on to these. The possibility of making over a grand on them is tempting. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But if it works out, I may. I it works out well. Okay. The only honest. Let's draw on down to here. Discover Gugnaeus! Huh, this place actually existed! Huh, fascinating. Slain Watchman. Looks like a kitchen knife. And they don't look like Gugnaean ships. The crate's also smashed. The, cr the crate has been smashed, and the vaults inside of it appear to have been broken. Of course. What? Show me this a second time? Oh Christ, it's fucking whooping now. I choose, I choose to, believe, to explain that whooping by uh, my character was apparently take, doing double takes. It's like seeing it, then looking away, and then looking back, just to explain it. Hmm. A long knife with a skull ornament on its hilt sticks out of the militiaman's ribs. As you walk around for clues, you spot a pair of savage-looking warships at the shore. Gunaeus is being invaded. Bring, whack, bring word back to Duskhaven's mayor, Gwen Armstead. Gunaeus will soon belong to Forsaken. 
Oh, sorry, Jeremy. I almost walked off without even noticing you. So rude of me. Also, the body despawned. Oh, no, it didn't. Belt. And... Stout. And welcome back. I'm just gonna run my glasses for a moment while uh, he's walking. Also, I love the sound of rain in games. It always looks, sounds so nice. Rain in real life never quite makes the same sound effect, which is always disappointing. Just I love the sound of it hitting off the stones and whatnot. I just, oh, it always sounds quite lovely. What's your story? Forsaken? Quick, go call Garot. We must mount a defense. Actually, oh, okay, it makes sense. He shouted, Gulneus will soon be uh, belong to the Forsaken. It makes sense. Watch your back. Uh, that's uh, for her to know yeah, who the yeah, Forsaken are. Um, in that case, he'll say, Forsaken, zombie looking things. And, you know, they go with it. Because they wouldn't should know of the, the Forsaken. They sealed themselves off uh, before the Forsaken became into being. And uh, they were meant rain sealed off, unless they had spies in the outside world. Which I don't think they had. The reefs have always uh, kill or be killed. The reefs have always pre always protected us from a coastal attack. The earthquakes must have opened the passage for the forsaken ships. Quick call, Garot. Slow down the attackers while I get the rest of the militia ready. I think I hear the prince and some of our men engaging the forsaken even as we speak. How can you hear them from here? Speak to Liam and see how he can be of use. Oh, and make sure he doesn't get himself killed. I'm afraid he might be a little reckless in his current state. Current state. Long live Greymane. Has he been gone a wolfie? Or is, has things just been a little much? <laughs> well, this is certainly a different prince than what I'm used to. This guy looks less like a prince and more like he's used to, you know. You know. Uh, you know, it being the bar fights. And actually, well, let's wait to see the debuff again on the invader. Come on, throw the bottle again. Most villagers, what have we done to deserve this? He keeps pretending to shoot a gun, stunned by an empty bottle of rye. Okay. Keep it stopping. Thank you. Ah, now he actually has a gun. Get back here! Cole Garot, you are alive! I thought I was having dreams about the old days when I heard your voice. The old days? How long has this been going on? And he seems to have really gone to like me. In, you know, the five minutes we knew each other. Guess I was a badass, you know, during that time. I failed to defend my people in Kumea City. Seems the fates have given me a second chance, Kokorot. I will not fail again. I guess this is why he's... You know, topless. Pretending for a gun and shanking people with bottles rather than his sword. He took failing them in Gunea City quite hard. Hold on. Kokorot, I'm not sure if you're alive or dead, human or worgen. I'm not even sure if I'm really awake. But this, I'm sure of. We're gonna kill great man of these motherless forsaken. Look, Kolgroth, the big fat ones, abominations they're called, they don't go down easy, so don't tackle them uh, uh, Tackle them on your own. Whatever an idea is so crazy, might j it might just work, or might get you killed if we're not careful, I suppose. There's barrels of gunpowder beneath the sheds by the, and by the windmills. Why would you store them there? Uh, uh, grab them uh, grab them, and toss them right at the abomination's heads. I'll take care of the rest with this trusty old blunderbuss. Now this is an in-quest I can get behind. Apparently I get paid in food for t uh, taking down abominations. I guess that's what happens when your quest giver is drunk. And shanking, uh, shanking zombies with a glass bottle. That is actually kind of badass, I have to say.
and he's actually really aggressive in, in, in like in his AI. You know, he, he's just standing there, but he ran from all the way over there to start stabbing a bitch. Maybe they did actually have some knowledge of the outside world, um, like spies and whatnot. Um, because I honestly I swear they didn't, but. It's quite possible that they still had some spies and knowledge of the outside world. Um, but I wouldn't have a clue. Black powder keg. Uh, toss it on top of the hard abominations. Let's talk about Princey. Also, pre uh, Rat of the Lich King. Well, sorry, pre Cataclysm in late Rat of the Lich King. You would constantly get earthquakes like that was happening there, though I don't think quite as extreme as that. And um, it was actually a really cool like lead up to the um, expansion into Catapults when a huge earthquake rocks the world, you know? Because it had people guessing and whatnot. I think I'm in combat with you. I don't know for certain though. Thankfully, they gravitate towards the Watchmen, so you aren't bothered. Well, you aren't currently bogged down by them. Uh, I'm just gonna go grab a few more barrels first before I start turning in any quests. Why are you storing just gunpowder out in the fucking open? It just. It. It's the kind of thing you want to store securely, so it doesn't get ruined by, say, this constant rain. Loved, I love the environment here, it's very gothic-y and whatnot, it's beautiful. Um, you, it's, but anyway, so they don't... You, you don't want to get these uh, ruined by the environment, and you also don't want um, them, someone detonating them, accidentally or on purpose. Or accidentally on purpose. How many do I have? Four. I can take as many as I want, but I only need four. Heart Abomination, level five elites. Uh, yeah, they're probably a bit too burly. Get back here! I smashes you! Ah, he actually says it. So much for that. At least even drunk, the uh, prince is a good shot. Oh, can't go that way. Hoping to avoid having to shank more uh, g general, um, like forsaken infantry. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of adorable. Okay, not action combat with anyone. So if I can cloak now. Creep over this way. And give you a barrel. God, I can't see in here. Throw a barrel. You know, gotta give it to the uh, powder, uh, gunpowder uh, gun keg placed. Gotta give it to the prince. That's a hard shot to make with a blunderboss. Our blunderboss is not really long range things, but more of a close range weapon. Hold the line. Yes, call garage. Just like old times. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to work hard and not shooting you, but Kenan explained everything to us. Probably forced a habit to take a pot shot at, the, uh, at a organ. So... You know, him being drunk and whatnot probably isn't helping. You and me, Cole garage, would make a great team. It's good to have you back. I'll take some spice bread. Huh. Pounded water re returns twice as much mana as the bread resource held. Interesting. Come on, let me get the quest. We can take it from here, called Groth. Check in with Mayor Armstead. These are only a small part of the Forsaken Forces. If we don't move quickly, we're going to have bigger problems in our hands. See what you can do to engage the Forsaken at their landing location. 
And dogfight. Kind of a weird name in all honesty. 